Hey guys, okay. Hey guys. Okay, I got cut off and I had to change locations and um and everything. But um I'm just wanted to talk about why I got fifteen dollars on my food stamp card. I literally used to get one ninety four and I'm not sure why they changed that in here in North Carolina. Um I don't know if some other people are still getting 194, but I mean, I was able to manage that a little bit more better. However, um, I was thankful for it because it was something. People like to say that, you know, um, it means that you're lazy and you don't want to work and you can't provide for this, that, and the third, and people's tax money is paying for your food and this, that, and the third. But if you think about it, you guys, if you're really intelligent, before, it used to be, if you weren't working, you qualified for food stamps. Then it say, if you were working, then you get less amount if you do want to get food stamps. Now, it's, you got to be working in order to get food stamps. And there, the whole scenario of that is, they used to say that, you know, people's tax dollars were paying for that. And the people who were just getting the, the food stamps, they weren't really working, so they were just getting to eat for free. But my thing was, if you are only supposed to be qualified for EBT now with food stamps, um, unless, you know, if you only if you're working, then that means your tax dollars is paying for it still, and it's going right back into the economy. So, why? Do I still get $15 on my car? Like, what am I supposed to do with $15? Like, buy a pack of Roman noodles a day and eat one in the morning, one at night to skip lunch because I'm gonna need that for You see what I'm saying? Like, I might do that for lunch, but that's all you can do is get Roman noodles. Like, who's going to do that? I'm, Token budget. I mean, it's possible now. If you're in your survivor mode, it is possible. But why would you want to put yourself in a predicament to even accept the fact that $15 would be enough for the entire month? Now, if you have children, then you're good to go. But what is $15? Okay. I do understand that, you know, it should be a lot easier for you to get your own stuff with you if it's just you, you don't have anything else to take care of. Yes, that is true. That is true. But you never know somebody's circumstance and what they're having to put up for to do. I think it's absolutely horrible that $15 is going to be enough to feed a person um, who is working, who is trying to save their money, who is still paying taxes on what they are getting. And it's like, what do you want me to do? Now, I'm from Washington, D.C. And in D.C., you automatically get 300 and something a month. It's a make to make it so make it so bad. They give it to you the card the same day, and then it's on your card within a few hours, like the next 24 to 48 hours. That's District of Columbia, okay? Food and Nutrition Offices. I'm not sure what state and city you're in and how they do it over there, but I know for one thing, I will not um, sit there and uh, you know. I mean, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use that $15. But it should not be that way. It needs to be it's something a little bit more for us to sit there and manage. Because $15 is, what is that going to do? Now, some people are saying that, you know, it was a president that done it. And Donald Trump is doing this and doing that. Then some people, you know, I just don't get it. It's like they're saying they're waiting for Congress. And they're saying they're waiting for But I'm like... What is the lazy part if our tax dollars is still spending and is still paying for what we're getting back? I just don't understand. I would never in my life sit there and try to consider myself managing 
fifteen dollars, even though I do, but I can't see myself literally sitting there and trying to manage fifteen dollars in a whole month. And what? Like then what? Fifteen dollars is not enough for a person to survive on for a week. Okay. So just know that you will be seeing that person going to the store and getting some ramen noodles. Like you will literally have to buy a pack of ramen noodles because it's a dollar, a family dollar or something, or at Walmart and just survive off of that because who in the world, like all you can do is eat chips or like $15 is just too much. Like my grandmother, she's retired. But she even went to go apply for food stamps, and she didn't have to. But she said that she 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 was low. She needed to find, you know, some other way. And I'm like, okay. Um, but to me, I always considered. I always thought my grandmother was rich. Like I don't care what nobody say. Um, but she's even getting like sixteen dollars, and I think now she's getting less than that. So why even bother giving someone that if their tax dollars are still going back into the economy to, to benefit that type of service? Like, that is crazy. Like, just because you don't have children don't mean that you don't need to have that same amount of money. Because when you are paying your taxes, you take that out anyway. It's not like you're going to get it all. You're going to give it right back to the government. So might as well give us more than $15. Now, that sounds a little bit embarrassing. Yes, I have um, found a way to provide my own food with the money that I was making I was working with. Um, and it's still possible. But just go ahead. I mean, what's the use? Yes, people. Yes, I know. Don't be selling your stamps either, y'all. Stop selling your stamps. Okay, use your stamps and eat and age yourself, okay? You find yourself way more better off and not wanting to sell them once you're eating and finding other ways to manage your money other than spending from what you're selling. That's a whole nother topic. Um, that's, that's just crazy, you guys. Like, I even went to Chapel Hill left Greensboro, went to Chapel Hill, I was trying to get established there, but they didn't have any affordable housing, and I went there, and I ended up working at McDonald's also, but that didn't work out because of discrimination by Hispanics. Um, I did not feel comfortable at all. I didn't feel comfortable at all because the lady that was inside of the social services building at the food and nutrition office, she even told me, she said, well, well, $15. She said, you're supposed to be getting way more than that. I was like, yeah, $194. And she told me $194. So when I waited for it to get transferred from Gilbert County to Orange County, it still was $15, but they was able to keep my benefits for the like for the next three months. I'm like, okay, so it's gonna be all on there together at once. She's like, no, it's gonna be on there, boom, boom, boom. Oh no, she didn't know I didn't know. She didn't. She didn't know how it was gonna be on there. I thought it was gonna be on there all at once, but it ended up being on there fifteen hours. The next fifteen hours. I'm like That is so ridiculous, like I don't even know what to say right now. I don't. I don't think that getting the food and nutritional benefits is the best thing right now because unless you have children, what's the use of even applying for? Honestly, I can provide my own food without using that, but I was just saying like, if I even did consider getting it, which I did, <laughs> um, but if I ever did consider getting it, then I would expect for it to be like way more than that. Is anyone else getting $15 less than that? <laughs> what are you going to do with $15, guys? $15, literally, you have to go buy 
a dollar pack of ramen noodles to last you every day of the week. Okay, so you probably be eating. Okay, it's six in a pack for a dollar. <laughs> no, take that back, take that back. You can go to Walmart or Food Line, get like the box, and spend like two dollars or three dollars. That's a little bit more in there. Okay, you can go to Costco. You might go to Costco, but then you gotta be the type of person that even had paid that hundred dollars for the whole year. See what I'm saying? Ain't nobody that's on there gonna do that. Some people are, but uh uh. You might as well just stay at Walmart or Family Dollar or the Dollar Tree. That's doing too much, y'all. I'm, 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 I don't know what to say about that. I don't. 